Hey guys, it's your boy Mark doing a Mark's home tour of a community out here in Paulding County. Uh, great location, amazing shopping and healthcare, everything that you would need for this demographic. So it's just called an active adult community. So anybody that's 55 and older can buy into the community. So if you're younger than that, you know, send it to your aunts, uncles, grandparents, parents um, that are thinking about coming to Georgia or are in the greater Atlanta area. Um, as you guys have followed the progress of when our uh, mother, Kurt's mother, my mother-in-law built an active adult community um, and saw that process. It's a really, really exciting thing to um, you know, whether you're coming from out of state and you're downsizing or if you never owned a home before uh, to be able to either buy a brand new home that's already built or a uh, one that you can build from the ground up. So let's take a walk through here together. It's uh, again for people that, you know, as you get older, you're not going to want to do stairs. Right. Um, maybe you have some health limitations as you get older. Um, or you just don't want to, you know, take care of a ton, a ton of square footage. Right. The heat. Uh, to furnish, but you still would love the opportunity for something brand new. And as we walk through, we'll show you like really what makes it amazing for, um, you know, somebody of 55 and older. So on this particular floor plan, this is one of their newer ones. So this is why I want to take you through here. You can see it has an awesome kind of, um, you know, front porch, depending on the elevations, they'll either be like squared off columns, circular columns like this. Uh, but you'd put a day bed or rocking chairs. What you see on the uh, actual house, you'll see either brick or stone uh, water table, they call it. Uh, wood trim. And then this is what's called hardy plank. Hardy plank is a concrete siding. Uh, I think it has like a 25-year warranty, but it's basically concrete. So it's really never going to um, you know, diminish or anything like that. But you just paint over it um, probably every probably 10 to 12 years uh, to keep it fresh. So let's walk this together and take a look. Beautiful. So you can see right off the top, there's nothing like brand new, right? But you have all these intricate details that the specific builder who really is only a builder for 55 and older. And that's important because a lot of other builders are trying to get into this market, right? Because People that have worked their whole lives, that have saved up their 401ks, that are ready to retire. Um, this is a very strong home buying demographic, meaning, you know, they have, they're not the, you know, unless they're VA, no money down. They're probably buying these cash or 20% or more uh, down to have an affordable uh, payment or no payment um, as they enter their retirement years. But you can see in this one, it has the beautiful mixture of probably three, five, and seven inch um, uh, rev wood, which is a hardwood material, uh, but it has a laminate finish. It's a no glue down, it's a floating floor, what they call. So it has all the grains, grain in it that a hardwood floor does, but it doesn't scratch or dent. So this is gonna be a really, really good product. You can see the fixtures in here are really first class. If you decide they're about to enter uh, phase three, so if you want to build from the ground up, you could secure a lot, go to a design center. That was a lot of fun. Again, you watched, um, you know, Kurt's mom. Um, you know, we took her to the design center. She ate, she was able to build a home like this from the ground up. And it's such a, a, you know, a sense of accomplishment. And having something brand new with a warranty that's going to, you know, you're not going to have to worry about a lot of maintenance for many years to come. Over here, you see a front bedroom. Uh, probably, I would say this is a queen size bed, two nightstands. You got two windows in here. You got room for two dressers. I mean, two nightstands, one dresser. And you see even how much more space there is. Of course, most people would put a TV in here um, as well. You have a double door closet. This is their model home, so they're still wrapping up. But there'll be like a wire rack in there to hang up clothes as well. Over here is a downstairs uh, bathroom. Again, when you when you build from the ground up, if you just wanted to make this just a walk-in uh, shower, you can. But um, that's what they give you in the primary bedroom, which we'll take a look at. But you could always switch out to that. 
but it's low enough because again, they're thinking everything for 55 and older. So they're gonna give you tile all the way to the top. Let's see if this light comes on, how beautiful that is. You know, after the fact, if you wanna add or during the process, you know, add a glass door um, or you wanna do the standard curtain and give it a little color design, you can as well. This is like its quartz countertops as well with the uh, rectangular sink, the light and the mirror. Um, and one thing you'll notice is, again, if you ever need, you know, um, a walker or uh, coming home from surgery and you need a, a wheelchair, if you notice, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but the hallways are super wide and the doorways are super wide so that you can, you know, have a walker or a wheelchair come through here as well. I love the archways. Um, of each of these entrances. Over here is a home office. If you ever wanted, again, to build this from the ground up, you could convert this into another bedroom because it has a door, has a window. So you can make this another bedroom. But this is like a home office den area. So again, if you're 55, 60, maybe not retiring until, you know, 70 or 67, you still have years of uh, working, you know, you have a space here to work from home, little conversation area. If you have like your own consulting business or uh, if your spouse, you know, you're living with a spouse, they could come in and, um, you know, sit with you while you're working. So really cool vibe here. Could also make this into a den. Over here to the right is your washroom. This is where you come in through your garage, as you can see. Garage door opener is included. And here's the washroom. So again, they have cabinets in here, a sink. Uh, it's showing like if you have a little pet or dog, but that's where your washer machine would go. Dryer, again, plenty of space. You have a closet in here as well. This is nice to, to hang, you know, to put your, uh, maybe your broom, electric broom or uh, vacuum as well. But beautiful, very, very spacious. Notice the crown molding, the shake style cabinetry is really, really beautiful. You can see a build out bench area, really, really cool too. Again, you could either get this as a standing inventory or a build from the ground up. Closet, which will have a um, wire rack in it to hang up items. Look at, again, how beautiful and spacious. There's nothing like having something brand new. And take a look at this kitchen. So you have a huge island. If you notice, too, there's cabinets under here. They're thinking of everything, again, because you're not going to be reaching up, climbing high and stuff like that as you get older. So you have even more uh, cabinet space under there. I like the breakup between the gray island and the white cabinets. Again, white backsplash. This looks like it's uh, probably a quartz material. This is where your four or five burner, you could choose four or five burner gas cooktop. Your microwave, you could also build it out with a vent hood. Double ovens. If you did the vent hood, you'd have the microwave and oven here. You got the dishwasher. Look at this beautiful granite sink. Very, very nice. Love that. And then across from here, you can see your dining room. Wall of windows, and if you notice, which we'll take a look at in a second, you're gonna have a side courtyard as well. You could either get a rear, certain floor plans, you could do a rear uh, enclosed porch or open. And over here on the side on these, you can get a courtyard. You could either have it, have it um, covered, um, make it a sunroom, or put the uh, screens on it. I think, you've, as you saw, um, my mother-in-law's, she did the back enclosed porch with the screen. This looks really, really nice. So this is where your refrigerator would go. We talked about the double ovens. And again, this one has an added, you could build out a bar area, like a, a cocktail bar, or you could put your Keurig or a coffee bar. What a great idea. I love the staging that they did in this one. And as you can see too, again, the dining room. So you have plenty when you're having Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, Kwanzaa, any holiday um, that you celebrate, you're gonna have a ton, a ton of space for people to sit. You could also add this as an upgrade. These are skylights too, they call it. Um, so you have more light coming in here as well. While we're over here, I just wanna show you 
the side porch. Again, you could have this enclosed as well if you want to. They thought of everything. You even have an outlet here to put a TV if you want, but you have the skylights over here too. And if you want to add a screened in porch, you can do that. And this is what's called a courtyard. So this is all your, you know, your land and the HOA, I think when it's all said and done over here, it'll probably be around $325. You get a clubhouse, you get, uh, they're building another craft style, um, like kind of barn area. Um, it's going to be really, really nice. You know, pickleball courts, I think are coming and it's really a social commu committee. So they're going to have Thursday get togethers for, um, drinks and coffee. They have, you know, monthly celebrations and stuff like that. So it's such a really, really, you know, what they call it, active adult area, active adult community. So, so nice thing. Look at all the lighting. They think they thought of everything. Now, this is your main family room area. You can, they're showing it with built in uh, cabinetry. You have a, uh, a gas fireplace. It's a gas and electric community. You can put your flat screen TV here. You can see the tray ceilings. That's an upgrade option. And you have uh, the ceiling fan in here. Beautiful, beautiful choices. And how spacious is it, right? With the nice uh, three windows, that one in the middle is fabulous as well. Just really, really designed beautifully. Now, this is your primary bedroom. This is probably going to be one of the more important features as if you're looking at this and considering it 55 and older or if you're sharing it with family members that would be interested in something like this. Look at how beautiful and spacious it is. And again, if you notice, there's not steps, right? There's not steps where you're going to be able to trip or anything like that. They're thinking of everything as you get um, older. I mean, look at the size of this room. I mean, they created like a little kind of sitting area. You have a bench at the end. You have a really large California King bed in here, two nice stands and a dresser. If you didn't need this dresser, I mean, you could create a whole couch over there if you wanted to as well. This is the big selling point to me. And these homes, again, think of the age demographic. You got an area for like hair and makeup. You got one uh, sink. Notice the granite countertops, the light, the rectangular sinks. Then for the other person in the household, if you do have another person, they have their own. You have, oh, this is locked. I think this was um, uh, like a storage area that they had. But look at this shower, frameless glass. Notice what it is from the bottom. I'll bend down over here to show you uh, zero entry. So all you have is a little tiny lip, right? So the water doesn't roll out. But again, if you ever had to use a walker or anything like that, you can't do stairs. Here's a bench as well. Beautiful tile all the way to the top. And then you have a walk-in closet. Look at this one, totally built out. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. And now I'm going to show you if you did want to finish the upstairs, because sometimes people have grandkids or they want uh, later in life, they're going to need a caretaker. Again, just look at that view all the way from the top. So you have the oversized banisters, beautiful carpet up the stairs. And look what you have here. A little space for your art gallery. Hallway again, they added the light here. <laughs> Look at this, it's a whole apartment up here. So you can make this into a uh, in law suite, you can make this into your TV room or movie theater room, you can make this into an apartment because you can make how big this room is. You can make it has its own full bath again. If you just wanted to make it a shower, you can. Imagine enough you know, for a coat closet, for your clothes, for your storage. But if you did, you know, you could make this into a couch area. You could make that into like a Murphy bed where you bring it off the cabinet tree. So a multifunctional room. And then finally storage. So if you're watching this or send it to um, family members that might be interested, look at all this storage too. Have them hit us up and we will get 
on it to help you build or select one of their standing inventory. Okay, guys, make it a great day.